Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Thank God It's Friday, the podcast where we talk about things or stuff and things. Sometimes we talk about things and stuff. Yeah. Today, we're not talking about things or stuff. We're going to be talking about a ideas. Oh, uh, well, well, specifically, a restaurant idea. A restaurant that Reeves has come up with, and I've just kind of tagged along with it. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I mean, yeah. You can't, really, you can't really drink my water. It makes too much noise. Anyways, uh, so today we're going to be wait discussing. A Let's just take a quick ASMR water drinking break. This episode of Thank God It's Friday is brought to you by Companion Water Bottles. Hear that Christmas. Uh, wow. Anyways, all right, so today. We're going to be talking about a restaurant idea, and I have a little tag along that's going to be connected to the restaurant. Reeves, take it away. So the most important thing that you need to understand about this restaurant, and I will give a quick disclaimer that anything expressed here today does not necessarily reflect the views of Presbyterian College, BC Blue Tube, any affiliated faculty, staff, or students. And most of all, it waits until things are legal. We might mention some stuff that's currently illegal, but that is not any evidence that we have been involved in such illegal, illegalness, illegalcies. The restaurant is a weed shop. That's right. We're talking about Stonies. Now, you may be wondering, Stonies, that seems like an uh, interesting name for a restaurant. And you know what? You're right. It's a very interesting name for a restaurant. But what you first have to understand is the concept behind Stoney's, which will allow you to understand the name of Stoney's. Basically, when you come in and you first put your name... I'm sorry to all of our uh, fateful listeners out there. We actually have a guest here today who wanted not to be involved, but then feels the need to distract me while I'm recording. It's Nick's fiance Chelsea. Yeah, Someone put yeah, some- Chelsea. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Anyways... Man. Continue. We should have just gone to seniors. We're going to seniors. After yeah, this. we're gonna go meet up some of some alumni. I need some uh, El Spanisho food, as um, Professora Daniela would say. Yeah, Mexican. Yeah. So let me, let me explain to you this right away. There's right when you come in and you sit down. Instead of ordering an appetizer, instead of getting a menu or anything like that, you will instead be given an edible, a weed edible to be specific. And for anyone that doesn't know what a weed edible is, please get off of my channel because this is not made for children, and I don't want YouTube trying to come after us and defunding PC Bluetooth. Uh, cannabis, broccoli, the devil's lettuce, you know what we're talking about. Talking about pot. Yeah. Talking about Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Talking about marijuana. Anyway, so yeah. What it's going to be is a restaurant, and it's just flights of appetizers. And, you know, have you ever gone to TGI Fridays when they're doing endless apps? I actually have not. See, I have, and uh, it's it's just as good as it sounds. Yeah. Basically, we will have a very short menu of some drinks and some appetizers. And as you sit, you could also order some more edibles. Or maybe you want to order yourself a nice little, uh, nice little hookah to be brought to your table. Yeah, and that's that's where my part of the the restaurant comes t- together because connected to Stoney's would be my shop, which is so y'all know Build a Bear, right? Ah, uh, yes, where you build a bear. Well, I got Build a Bong. Ah, uh, yes, where you build a bong. And uh, uh, yeah. So sorry, I got <laughs> it's the the concept. Somewhat speaks for itself. Here. Yeah, it's it's exactly like Build a Bear. You know, you pick it out, customize it. I don't really, I don't really know how bongs work. I just know that it's a very profitable industry. Yes, I also don't know how special vases are made. Special vases that are used for tobacco products and only tobacco products, unless yes. you live in the state of Colorado, Washington. What's the other one? I think there's like a lot more than that now. California, California, and, maybe. Uh, can you Google it? I think Can Washington, D.C. I already said Washington. You said Washington. I said Washington, D.C. I don't know. All right, anyway. That's not so, a state. Anyway, it, it's a fully customizable bong and straight to your preferences. I don't know if there's preferences or not. That's just my There's guess. probably preferences. 
And uh, anyways, I would jack the price up on that on that because it's a customizable bong. And uh, yeah, plus you go through the whole process just like Build a Bear. You gotta love it. You gotta squeeze it. Yeah. You gotta hold it. You gotta want it. You got to got to got to put a little love in it. Okay. Anyways, so chicks yeah. love all that cheesy crap. And if you uh, say you went to Stoney's and then you went over to Build a Bong, you could get a coupon for Stoney's for another free edible. Or okay, okay. Uh, I don't remember agreeing to that part. Or you know, maybe you want to try it out. You know, at Stoney's. At Stoney's. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna talk a little bit more here about what you get when you go to Stoney's. And now I know I've already mentioned that it's appetizers, but we're not messing around with that kid stuff. We're not messing around with no like. Ugh, a little spinach artichoke dip. Ew, gross. Ugh, maybe I mean, have some stuffed uh, jalapeno poppers. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are here making a weed-themed restaurant, giving away edibles for free, and you think we're not going to have crazy food? Blasphemous. Absolutely. I cannot believe you would say that to me. So let's talk about some of uh, our favorites from the menu, and we won't give away our entire menu because the copyright on this is still, you know, it's, it's non-existent. So I don't want anyone to steal it. My personal favorite is the grilled cheese pizza. Oh now, yeah. If you have watched the Cooking in College special, Cooking in Quarantine, which there will be a link to in the description, you will know what the grilled cheese pizza is. You'll see how it's made. You'll see the whole process of it. And you'll also see some people like theirs a little bit more done than others. I do. I like mine more done. So, you know, basically what you want to imagine if you haven't seen that episode is Texas toast pizza mixed with a grilled cheese. Yeah. I think that one is very cool, but my favorite is just because it's so, I would absolutely just obliterate this Uh if someone put it in front of me. Loaded tater tots. The loaded tater tots, yeah. I think the loaded tater tots is a great idea. Go a little bit more into that, Nick. So pretty much, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a tater tot with cheese and bacon inside of it. Yep. And I, I don't know how many you would get an appetizer's worth. <clears throat> Maybe a little handful. I mean, you know how like you get like you go to you go to Sonic and you get like the chili cheese tater tots, right? Chili cheese. But you imagine get, if those were inside. Yeah. Imagine if those were a bigger and b inside. I imagine they're about the size of a boat round. Yeah. Yeah. And similar to how those have onions in it, these have cheese and bacon. Wait, boat rounds have onions in it? I'm pretty... Yeah. 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 Chelsea, can you confirm that? Yeah. Chelsea has confirmed it. Chelsea confirmed it. Which means it's true. My, I think this isn't my favorite, but it's the one that I've put probably the most thought into. And what it is, is the queso dias. Okay, oh yeah. So it's it's I have to try and figure out the logistics and the science behind how this works, but essentially we will take a quesadilla, cut it into the size of chips, and then cook them extra so that they are similar to chips. Yeah. And you will put that in queso, kind of like you would with a chip. Can I, can I ask what you're doing over there? Oh, I'm just bedazzling my cup and you're not sponsored. Companion, if you are listening to this, look, oh my God. we've been through a lot. Come on, Companion, what's Come going companion. on? What's going Young on? People. Young people. Now, we are looking for sponsors this season. Uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends, uh, of course. Nord VPN. Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club. Uh, That's another mobile game that usually has ads. Uh, that Gardenscape? Or- oh, yeah, that one doesn't. They don't give people ads for that, though. I don't give money to people. War of Ships. War, World of Warships. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Oh, NVIDIA. If you want to send us some graphics cards to try out in a PC that you send to us, that will give away to a, one lucky student. At Let Presbyterian know. College. At Presbyterian College, PC Bluetooth. <clears throat> uh, yeah, anyone who wants to give us money. Look, I'm not saying that we're just doing it for the money. But I'm saying we're exactly just doing it for the money. Look, I will not support a company that I don't agree with. I will you know absolutely I sell with? out. You know what I agree with? What? A buttload of cash. A butt ton of cash. Raid Shadow Legends, if you somehow stumble across this video and you want to um, sponsor us, I have, just know I just, we, uh, we have a whole idea for it. We've actually already worked out an idea that we would love for we you would guys make an entire. You about. think we're gonna do some stupid ad that you someone's think we're just gonna, gonna skip you through? A ten second ad, or how long are they? Thirty seconds? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Where someone can just like, ugh. 
click through it. No, 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 no. There will be an entire video. An entire video dedicated to Raid Shadow Legends. Because that's how much... But we will make much... sure people don't know it's just Raid Shadow Legends. So just let us know. Send us an email. Leave a comment. Like the video. You we know. do have an email. It is uh, bluehosetube at gmail.com. Yeah, but that'll be in the description just for you, Raid. Anyone else? Get out of here. Yeah, unless it's NVIDIA who wants to send us a brand new gaming PC with that new like 3090 GTX that's like $1,500. I don't know what he's talking about. It's a graphics card that's $1,500. Just one piece. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways. So yeah, the queso dia. I think that could work. I think it could work. I'm not sure the logistics of deep frying an already fried quesadilla. You can absolutely do it. I think I think you can deep fry anything. I think you know what we should add to the menu. What? Deep fried Oreos. Oh my gosh! I I. Oh. Maybe we should add an entire dessert section. Like it's just uh, obs- because oh man. Uh, theoretically, if I were ever to participate in um uh the uh what. Uh, uh, the, the, what the kids are calling the uh, smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> then I think people would enjoy some sweets, you know? Yeah. So think about like some deep fried Oreos. Right. Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. I think it could work. And then something to do with milkshakes. It would just be like steak and shake. It's just an absurd amount of different choices. What do you think would be the best milkshake flavor that's not already, like, strawberry? You know, like, uh, so you get cheesecake. I know you don't like cheesecake, so suck it up. Fun fact, I don't like cheesecake. You know, I would get, like, a cheesecake, and I'd get, like, kind of like a like a cheesecake s'more. Like a s'mores cheesecake. S'mores, actually, Sonic just recently added, like, a like a fried s'mores. It It's a, yeah, it's, it, oh, it's insane. It's such a good milkshake. Have you had it? I did. I've had it multiple times. So maybe a s'more shake. What about this? S'mores. Ice cream sandwiches. My, uh, that was really funny. We were just talking about my uh, Spanish professor, Professora Daniela. I don't know how to say her last name, so. And she's, she actually doesn't have her PhD, which is crazy, but she's doing really well, so. Um, Shout out to you, Professora. Professora, you're great. You're doing fantastic. You're doing great. A great job. Tremendous job. Anyways, um, she just sent us a text message because we she has us on remind, and she says, celebrate Latin American Heritage Month. September is a lot of things months. It is. Uh, everything, it's Suicide every month, Prevention Month. Every month Latin has a thing, though. Heritage Month. I'm sure it's more things that I'm not thinking uh, of. Oh, every month has like so many different things. It's stupid. It I don't think matter. it's stupid. But here's the thing, right? If every month has something special. Right. No month has something special. That's true. It's basically um, syndrome from The Incredibles. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I know we're getting off topic from Stoning. What's that wood thing in the door? What wood thing that in the door? That wood thing right there. I have no clue. But there's <laughs> Has it been there the whole time? The I don't know. That's a great question. Well, we're going to check it out after this episode. As I was saying, though, um, I know this is getting a little bit off topic from Stoney's. I think Syndrome is the best villain in a Pixar or a Disney movie. Is, yeah, you're right. It's Disney. He is. I mean, you know who's better? No one. No, no one asked. Huh. Anyways, thank you for listening this week, guys. We were trying to do a radio show, and then um, we were unable to get it to work. My manager but. just never decided to mention to me that the library closes at 5 o'clock on Fridays, the exact time that I want to do my show. Which is awkward. Yeah, but so uh, hopefully this is a good substitute. We're going to try and figure out some way to get these because they technically save as the same format as what to a song would save as. Yeah. So we should theoretically be able to put them into the rotation for the radio station. Absolutely. Speaking of the radio station, Nick, where can people listen? Oh, if you were planning on, if have you been? Do you like? Do you like the? Da, Raid Shadow. No, no, do you oh, like sorry. the? Da, 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 you know, da, 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 like a like say, da, da, uh, what is it? Uh, the Price is Right. You know that? You know the, like the price. Yeah, that. I'm doing no, it. No, no, no. Like put it in post. Like put it in post at this part. Okay. I've got a fun. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Have you been looking for a radio station that you could just sit down and relax and do homework to? I'm not. 
Anyways, have you been looking for a radio station that you could just sit down, relax, and do homework to? Well, have I got the deal for you. WPCX, PC's 97.1 radio station, the smoothest jazz in the upstate, is exactly what you're looking for. We have shows coming out every single week, almost every single day, at different times. Link in the description. <clears throat> Make sure to it's check It's perfect out. Oh, okay. for study, work, play, anything that you need. Background noise, you got it. Really? Even driving? Even driving, you can listen. 97.1. Now, what if I'm not driving? Or what if I go home for the weekend? Could I still listen? I got you covered. The Radio FX app allows you to listen anywhere at any time. Any time? Any time. Anywhere? Anywhere. My goodness. And now, how much does this Radio FX app cost? Free. Completely free? Completely free. No subscription needed? No subscription needed. My God. The school pays for it for you. Wow. Yeah, it's actually. What a power move, by the way. It's $891 a year. (sighs) But, anyways, also follow us on the Instagram. Link in the description. Blue Hose WPC. Blue Hose underscore WPCX. Instagram. Instagram. Instagram part's not at the end. I just kind of like. Instagram. We have 20 something followers right now. We get like five every minute. To be fair, it was it was made today. Don't don't judge too hard. Hey, I, I followed everybody that I possibly could. If you got followed by me, comment down, down below. below. Or even like the video. Below, below. Send me a DM on WPCX's Instagram about what you would like to listen to on the radio. In fact, the Radio FX app actually has a chat feature in it. To where you could talk to us live. Now, before we wrap up, I want to say one more thing about Stoney's, and I want to ask your opinion on it. Okay. What is a better mascot? A bear wearing a wildfire hat, clearly playing off of another famous bear that has something to do with it. Because his name's Smokey? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. We're not trying to get copyright striked here. I don't know yeah. who that boy is. Uh, Smokey the Bandits. Ba- whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, oh, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> or a happy pot leaf. Uh, the bear. People would hug the bear. Should we create a kids menu? It would be yeah, it would be Junior Smokies. Smokies are us? Smoke Oh my god, that's a great idea. <laughs> right. Copyrighted. Down, write, that down, write that down. I'm pretty sure that's how copyright work. If I say copyrighted? No, there's a whole legal process you have to go through. Mm. Chelsea. Mm. Oh, she's not I here. won't be doing that. But, you know what I will be doing? Liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Following both PC Bluetooth and WPCX on Instagram, as well as the Blue Stocking. I will be listening to WPCX, watching Bluetooth, reading figs and thistles, constantly updating myself on articles that get posted to the Blue Stocking's website, thebluestockingpc.org. But most of all, you know what I'm going to be doing? What? Thanking you, the listener, for listening. For listening and watching. Y- yes? Yes. Kind of? Have a beautiful weekend. weekend. Stay safe. And most of all, it's what is it? thank God. Latin American Heritage Month. So oh. celebrate on your PC campus. And thank God it's Friday. Friday.